one of the interesting things we saw as soon as COVID hit was not only did a ton of merchants suddenly say, okay, I need to get online, but what we saw was actually the buying radius around those merchants started to get local. It's like, okay, great, my local merchants online. See some of the things that we see right now that are really interesting are with brands online that are leveraging their retail staff on their online experience. So be it uh, being able to book a session with a stylist online, doing mm -hmm. some of those things in terms of the real world. What other sorts of trends are you seeing in terms of innovation that's happening online that's connecting better to kind of the real world and retail? Yeah, that's actually a fascinating one. I mean, we've seen a lot of brands where, you know, very retail centric with an online capacity, suddenly online's taking off on them. And now it's about, okay, how do I actually deliver that, you know, a better, more holistic experience? How do I actually engage with my merchant? And so we're seeing a lot of retail staff being converted over and starting to interact with people using, you know, Facebook chat function or using chat functionality on the website. Way more actual follow-up. One of the interesting things we saw as soon as COVID hit was not only did a ton of merchants suddenly say, okay, I need to get online. But what we saw was actually the buying radius around those merchants started to get local. It's like, okay, great. My local merchants online, I need to. And so for the brands, what we saw was also just way higher levels of engagement. It wasn't this online thing that I order from and a package shows up four days later. It was this online thing I order from that I kind of know, but now I'm actually getting way, like just much different engagement, whether it be buy online, pick up in store, whether it be at home delivery, whether it be, you know, thank you cards that are personalized, like, hey, I know who you are. Thank you, Zubin, for continuing to support my business. Um, lots of innovation in those areas. The other one we've seen, and this is more from the manufacturing perspective, is manufacturers who have relied, you know, have had no relationship with a direct consumer or with their end consumer. That's been done by the local appliance, you know, store in my town. Suddenly say, okay, they are completely unequipped for this and I'm done. And so the other interesting thing we've seen from a retail perspective is a lot of small retail businesses that were really unprepared and don't know how to do this. Actually, the manufacturer CPGs behind them stepping in and saying, hey, we'll help you. Here's how we're going to do it. Here's how we're going to deliver a great brand experience. And we're actually going to help teach you how to do this. And I think that's super cool.